Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh. Today, inshallah, we'll talk about the relations, and that is the fifth lesson for chapter one. Uh, what is the meaning of relation? Relation is the connection between two sets, X and Y. We have a relation between X and Y. One of the ways that we can represent the relation defined by the ordered pair. Do you remember the ordered pair, which can be written in the form of X, Y by this way? Hmm. You know this one? The ordered pair? Yes. Okay. Yes. So the yeah. ordered pair is one of the ways that we can represent the relation. Uh, so, if you want to represent the order pair, we use the coordinate plan, which is defined by the x and y. x, which is the horizontal line, and y, which is the vertical line. Both of them intersect at one point, this point defined as origin point, or 0 and 0. So, the horizontal line, which is the x-axis, the vertical line, which is the y-axis, and this point defined as the order pair, and the point of intersection between the x-axis and the y-axis, which is the origin point. Any problem for this one? No. No, sir. No. No. So we have another way that we can represent the relation which is defined by the mapping. What is the meaning of the mapping? That we have two columns like this one. We write the element of the set of X and here we have to write the element of the set of Y. The set of X defined by the domain and the set of Y defined by the range. So each element of the domain connected with the element of the range. That's what we mean by the mapping method to represent the, the relation. So the first way that we can represent the relation, which is the ordered pair. The ordered pair, which is represented as two numbers like that, between two braces, the first number and the second number. This way defined by the ordered pair. The second way, which is the mapping method. Here we have to write all of the elements of x, and here we have to write all of the elements of y. So can you convert or translate this mapping method to ordered pair for the first one? Yes. What is the first ordered pair that we have? Negative 2, 4. Negative, negative 2, 4. 2 and 4. The second one? Uh, negative, negative 1, 1 4. Uh, negative 1, negative 4. 1 and 4. After yeah. that? Zero six. Zero, six. Zero, six. Zero, and six. six. After that, one, one, eight. one, one and eight. eight. Then and two, eight. two eight. Two one, and eight. eight. That's how we can convert the the, uh, yeah, the mapping to the ordered bit. How we can convert between the ways of representing the relations. So the way that we can represent the relation, we can represent as ordered bit, as we said now. Or the second way could be defined as the table. This is the first way, which is the ordered pair. The second, which is the table that we have to write the element of x and each element which opposite to y. So the first order pair one and two, so we can represent as one and two by this way. Negative two and four, so we write in x negative two and we write in y four. The third order pair, which is zero and negative three, so we write for x zero and for y negative three. So that is the second way. The third way that we can use the graph using the coordinate plan. So the point one and two, it means we are moving for x1 and going up two. Negative two and four, we are going to the left two units, then going up four. Zero and negative three, it means without moving right and left, we will go down three units. By using the mapping, we just write the element of x and using the element of y. Then we connect between them. We have the, uh, for any relation, we have dependent and the independent. Which one is depend on it? Y is always depend on X. Y is always depend on X. So X is independent variable and Y is dependent because it's depend on X. So by changing the value of X, Y will be changed. By changing the value of X, Y will be changed. So, so y is depend on x. Any problem for this one? Any problem for the relation? No, How no. we can convert it? No, between no, the ways? no, no. Okay. No. So for the first question that we have, we need to express the relation 2 and 5, negative 2 and 3, 5 and negative 2, negative 1 and negative 2, by using the table and by using the graph, by using the method. I will solve the first one, then you can solve after that.
So the first order bit that we have, we have two and five. It's mean for x we will write two, and for y we will write five. The second one, which is negative two, and the three. The third yeah. one, which is five, and uh, negative two. The last one, which is negative one and negative two. So that's how we can represent by using the table. Any problem for the first one? No, no. Okay. no. For graphing by using the graph, or to represent by using the graph, what is the meaning of the order bit one five? It's mean we are going to the right two units and going up five. So that is the first one. Negative two and three. We are going to the left two and going up three. Five and negative two. It's mean we are going to the right five, then going down, negative two. Then negative one and uh, neg negative one, negative two. So we are going to the left, then we are going to down. So that is the four point that we have by using the graph on the coordinate. Graph. Now how we can represent by using map. At the first, I will draw, or I will write all of the element of x. What is the element of x that we have without repeating? If you want to write in order, it's okay. If you don't want to write in order, the order is not important. But for me, I prefer to write to the order. So the first number which that we have, which is negative two, then after that, negative one. After that, we have two. Then we have five. The first number that we have, which is negative two, if you write without using order, that's right, no problem. The second number, which is three. The third number, which is five. The order is not important. I repeat it more than one time. The first order bit that we have, which is two and five. So from two, I'm going to five. The second order bit negative two and three. So from negative two to three. Five and negative two. Negative one and the negative two. That's how we can represent by using the table, the graph, and the mapping. Any problem for that? No, sir. Can you no. solve? Yeah, no. we can solve. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I will solve B, then you can continue. We need to determine the domain and the range for each relation. So for the domain and for the range. Where is the domain? The domain is the coordinate for x, and x the range, and which is y, y. y. So for the domain, I will write x, but to write between the braces of the set, don't repeat any element. So x, we have 2, negative 2, 5, and negative 1. By the way, the order is not important. So we can write 2, negative 2, 5, and the negative 1. And for the range, we have 5, 3, negative 2, and negative 2. Because negative 2 is repeated, I will just write it only one time. I will not write it twice. Even if that's repeated 100 times, I will just write it as one time. So it will be, we have 5, 3, and negative 2. So the range will be, must be written between the braces, so it will be 5, 3, and the negative 2. The order is not important. The order is not important between each two elements. Put comma and write the element between the two braces. That's how we can represent the domain and the range. Any yes. problem for the first question? No, sir. Okay, can you solve 1A? Yes. Okay, solve it, please. Wait, solve it. And, yes, please. Solve it and send it me in Telegram. Mr. Do you draw the graph? Okay. Yes, please. Just draw the coordinate X and Y, vertical and horizontal. Divide it by using the ruler, then send it. Me. If you want to print the worksheet, you can print it. I uploaded on the, the website. You can just print it and solve it, then send me a copy. It would be easy for you if you want. The, oh, the, the, the worksheet is in Casera? No, no, no. The, where, where I didn't upload the worksheet in Casera. If you want, you can download it from the website. That's the course. <laughs> I, will, I will write the website. Okay. I will write it in Okay. The hmm. 